I'm a huge fan of this this podcast. I listened to it several times over in English, and I'm excited to listen to it in Spanish. Um, how do you be begin to tackle a project like this when it comes to like translating it over? Well, uh, hi, thank you for having me. Actually, Gen Z Media, which are the producers of the original show, mm -hmm. they contacted me. Uh, I my company actually does this for uh, this is our our gig. We basically adapt anything that is in English for American markets to Spanish in Spanish markets, you know, uh, Latin American. So they contacted me and they said, you know what, we would like, we have this podcast, we would like you to take a look at it to see, would it be worth, uh, you know, translating it or something or adapting it? He said, sure, let me take a look. I did. I actually got hooked with it because I actually had to hear it. And it says, yes, we can do this. And then uh, what market are you planning to do? Is it everyone, everywhere from the US to all the way down to Argentina, all the way down to Spain? He said, okay, so let's do it. Uh, we started uh, adapting little by little, trying to find uh, something that would be neutral for every single market, you know, that we have nuances like they have in the in the in English. They have nuances in Spanish that one word might mean something in here and something totally different somewhere else. So actually, we had to actually keep that in mind. Also, we needed to keep the voices as neutral as possible, so it would not sound too Argentinian or too Mexican or too Spaniard. And and that's how we actually got in contact with a dubbing house in El Salvador. It is called Blah Blah Blah, and. Uh, we um, we started doing the casting and and here we are. Awesome. Uh, there's so many characters and so many doppelgangers that, that come into the show. How, how do you create distinct personalities for all of them, even though some characters are the same character but from a different dimension? Well, it was it was it was quite a challenge. It was quite a challenge because first of all, as you hear, many voice characters sounds actually very similar in the voice. You have to give a little pitch here and there just to make sure that people can differentiate it. It's a like, you know, and uh, it was, it was, it was a challenge, but we actually were able to, to massage it, to, to do it in a way that everything everyone comes across and after you start listening everyone becomes their own personality and it was great it was great my favorite for example one of my favorites is that the one that everybody actually disliked which is brian lee you know okay. like it was like a, like a, kind of annoying but i actually enjoyed that character a lot so was birdie and and everybody else yeah uh, i mean briley has the biggest change throughout the story arc and yeah. she's one of the most fa more fantastic characters um when it came to it, it's not just about translating this it's about like you said adapting it yeah um, how, how do you adapt such a, a such a i guess short series um podcast that, that has to have this greater story arc how, how do you make every every episode count captivating yeah well uh we follow the script we follow the script, we have to adapt a few things. By adapting, I mean, just basically making sure that we're actually getting the right words. Nothing was actually deleted. Everything was actually, they were granted, they were always a couple of jokes, a couple of, of sayings that they were like, what they say lost in translation. So we have to adapt it and massage it to, to make it actually work in Spanish, always with the consent of the author. We actually were in the, with the author all the time, making sure that is that right? What we're saying is, yeah, that's exactly it, what I want to say. And there were a couple of, of instances that we actually had to deal with that, but it was it was done very well. I mean, it was it was done very consciously. We took very good care of it when we were doing it. It's uh, incredible. It's a, it's a good it's a good thing. One thing I wanted to actually tell you is that when we did the casting in Spanish. Of course, the voices changes. There's actually a few voices in Spanish that they were even, dare I say, better than in the original. One of them is uh, Birdie. Birdie's, awesome. Birdie's voice in Spanish is to die for. It's like, wow. So 
Awesome. And uh, one of the things that, very, that was very captivating about this series is that it came out during quarantine. She addresses the quarantine. Uh, how do you translate that to now where we're out of it and people might not be as caught up in, in that part of the, the world anymore? Well, uh, we did uh, most of the, of the writing and some of the reporting was done during still the pandemic you know, during the pandemic. And right now, I think that it's going to be years before people will forget about the quarantine. You can actually talk about it as a, a thing of the past. But at this point, I'm not too concerned about it that they're talking about the quarantine because they pe people are going to know. Yeah, it was recorded a year ago or something like that. But still, kids now, they will still remember for probably years to come that there was a quarantine. We're still dealing with that, the whatever is left of it, so. Awesome. Uh, for me, my favorite part is the fact that this is such a, an engaging podcast. You could share it with kids, grownups. It's used in classrooms. What about it, you know, uh, caught your attention and wanted, you wanted to create this for a wider audience? Well, the thing that I actually love the most is, you know, the kids and teens are usually, they have very short span short attention span. This is ideal for a kid because this is like, uh, here, listen to this. It's six minutes. That's it. And it will leave you hanging, wanting for more. Okay, you went to another one. Okay, here it is. You want to wait? Okay, fine. Let's wait next week to see your, hear the other one. But it's actually engaging. It has a cliffhanger like any good uh, TV series or movie or soap opera. It has, it always gives you like, uh, what is going to happen next? What is going to happen next? So, you know, it's uh, it's a good thing. I think that it's going to be very engaging for kids, you know, and just the same that it was actually with kids in the U.S. that it has been like 150 million downloads so far. I think that we're going to actually surpass that number because we, ha we, are, more, we are more people and this is not only the U.S. This is all Central and South America and it's all Spain. It's, it's a lot of people. It's 300 million people. So let's see what happens. Awesome. Well, Congratulations on this project. It's an amazing oh, podcast, you. and I can't wait to listen to it in Spanish. I, I, I would love to hear what, 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 what do you think? I, I hope that we did a good job. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for your time, and have a thank great you, rest of your day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.